Oh my goodness, guys. I love having short hair. Well, anyway, if you guys know me, you guys know I'm a little crazy and I love challenges. And today, we're taking a little challenge from Renee. And the challenge is to make this pep into a trio. Who knows? I might pull it off, it might look awesome and amazing, or it might look like a 99 cent cup. <laughs> well anyway, if you guys like the video, please hit like, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon, and let's get going! What? I didn't tell you what to use so that you can make this too? Oh, well, don't worry french fries, all you need is just a cup, and as you can tell on the front side right there, we just use just the simple Sculpey. And at the end, we're going to use a little bit of floral wire. That's all you need. And right now, all I'm doing is just having a whole bunch of that clay on the bottom. Just making sure that all of these little ropes can be attached to that. And these little ropes are basically the grooves for the tree. And it's going to be wrapped all the way around the bottom. Man, that's a lot of ropes! And what I use the tool for is just to go into those grooves and make sure that they're more pronounced. And what you see here is just me trying to make like a... A way to grab the cup, but also making it look like a branch from a tree. And let's just say I didn't go with this. Right when I was done like fixing it, I kind of stop and think, and I'm like, mm, nap. Let's try something else. And so I tried making a little bird, and so I squish it because I was like, no, let's look at something else. Maybe I just need another focal point. And I saw this cute little silhouette of a girl, and I was like, you know what? Why don't we put a girl inside of the cup? <gasps> Genius! And so, <laughs> I do. So this is me making her. I do make her twice, because the first time she was way too bulky, and she didn't look like a human, and so I took off a little bit of that excess wire that was inside and a little bit of that foil and then finally I make her look gorgeous and cute and I also tried to make a realistic face to it and let's just say it was a little too big for her face so I just didn't go with it I squish it at the end and I also just make it flat so that it could be a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more uh, cute and simple. Man, that face started looking like crazy and nope, I'm glad I changed it. See, what did I tell you? I take her out to the bare minimum and then I refix it. And now, there you go, she's having that hourglass silhouette and going down to her legs. She looks more like a human. Yay! And I keep making sure that each time I add a little bit, I also smooth her out. So always remember that. Time to make her little feet. And all it is is just a very small lump of clay and just putting it on her feet. And now it's up for the hair. So I do the same little squiggles as I did for the bark. 
but I'm putting them all together like you can see and that way I just connect it to her head and there's her hair. And now it's time for the tree branches. All I do is just take another stick, stick of clay, another snake of clay <laughs> and to make sure that they kind of like adhere to the glass, you got to make sure that you smooth out both the sides, okay? And then you're just going to squish just a little bit towards the middle of it and just make it even so that that way it has three points of contact, okay? And I tried to put this wire into her head, but me as a weird doofy do, I just took off her head and I put it back all the way on top so that it would be fixed. And you didn't get to see all that only because, as always, I have to lose some video. Yeah. So nice, huh? <laughs> but anyway, right now all I'm doing is just making the little leaves for the branches. And I only did a couple of them just to match it all the way around and I detailed them with the stick to make them look like actual, you know, little leaves. And we're almost done with all the leaves. Okay, last detail. And the cup is done and now I'm just using the alcohol to just smooth out everything and just make it work in unison together and just cleaning up the little extras that are all over the place and the little fingerprints that I've left behind and yeah so that's what the alcohol is for there is a clay softener that you can buy as well if you don't want to use alcohol. So, tidbit of the day. And let me just put her in there. Like so. My goodness, it's the next day, but I really like how it's coming out. What's that tree? I love the water effect too. Now all I need to do is just make sure that this is clean so she kind of pops out more but you guys got the gist of it. I love it so far. Oh my goodness guys, it is clean. And look at that. That looks amazing. Alright. I'm gonna eat. Yay! And now I'm just putting on tape. And I'm using the exacto knife to cut around it. My hubby was so nice to just resharpen it for me so it wasn't breaking my clay anymore. And yeah. So just put it all the way around. And I didn't just do this for the paint job that was going to happen, but also for the spray that I put on my clay so that it lasts longer and you can actually have it outside or inside you know it's weather resistant so yeah I just wanted to make sure that it was okay and now it's time for the paint all I do is just turn this entire bottom black just so that it goes in through the crevices as well so that the tree will have more dimension when I paint it brown and the girl, I decided to make her a redhead because of the roses that are going to be in front. They're going to be red too. 
So I wanted to make sure that they both matched somehow. And now all I'm doing is just dry brushing the brown all the way around the bottom. And just making sure that I don't get rid of all that black that I just did. And then I'm going to do black on the branches just so that they match the stump that is on the bottom. It was so calming painting this entire piece. And I know that if you guys do it too, that you guys will be calm as well. Or frustrated, who knows? <laughs> Okay, now it's time to do the little woman that it goes inside of the tree. And I wanted her to match the tree somehow, so I decided to do like capris um, that were green to match the leaves. And I was going to put it all the way down so it looks like she was wearing flippers and like a swimsuit of green. But I decided against it and I decided to make capris instead and her little shoes the same green and I put black on the bottom of the sole so it would be a little different and the shirt is going to be white just so it kind of like matches everything and she looks good man I broke her hair but it's okay, I have super glue to fix it. And at the same time, it helped me so that I could do the white shirt under the hair so it didn't look like it was clear. So that's, that's a plus, right? <laughs> and now all I'm doing is just the black details all around her. And then see my little super glue. It's ready so that I can put her hair back. And I just put the glue on there. I put all the hair back where it's supposed to be. I put a little glue on top so that it glues all together. I paint it red again and she's done. And now just doing all the branches in brown and the same green that I did her pants with, I do it for the, the little leaves that were on the branches. Just like so. And then I do red for the roses that were right there. And the little leaves that are right next to the roses. I point them green. And do my Johnny Hancock. And now they're done. And then I take off the tape right after it's dry. And once it's dry, I also use my pointy tool to scratch off of the glass all the little extra paint that wasn't taken care of and the little extra protective that was on the actual glass. Then I just put the little girl in there and voila! I love how she came out, you guys. All the detail from the tree to the branches to the girl inside. And I even love how the cup was blue. Because then that way it looks like she's in water. Oh my goodness, you guys. She came out so lovely. Thank you, Renee, for the idea of making a tree. And I hope you love it. Alright, see ya!